The standoff continues. Hi, I am four. I'm a three-year-old giant schnauzer. My parents are a little too obsessed with me. They think I'm a teddy bear. How does this? There we go. Go. Close door. Garvey, close door. Oh, close door. Close door, Garvey. Garvey, close door. Close it. Up. Oh. Good boy. Fred, are you supposed to be doing that? This is Reginald. He's a purebred Doberman Haversham. He cost $2,000 and we're on a waiting list for two years to get him. These are my babies, Chonko and Fuckass. I found them in a dumpster and I love them more than life itself. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm gonna use it. All this power that I found, gonna totally abuse it. Dude, I hit so much stuff, do not get into my way. Cause I found a stick and I'm using it today. I got a stick, got a stick. Mm -hmm. Down. Stand. Back. Sit. Speak. Yes. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good. Down. Down. Good. Are you a good boy? Huh? You want your ball? You want your ball? What was God, what was God thinking when he made you so damn thick, so damn scrumdiddly umptious, huh? What was he thinking when he said, look at this one, we're going to make this one a real pound? I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. I've been in here most of my life. I'm an institutional man now. The difference six months can make. Learn how your puppy learns. Some pups are food driven. Some learn by positive affirmations. I'll do anything for treats. Man, I'm tired of people calling me cute. I gotta show them I'm a vicious dog. I'm vicious. Let me practice. Let me ah, I'm ah, vicious. Ah, don't touch me. Ah. All right, let's talk a little bit about what littermate syndrome is. So basically, littermate syndrome is when 
litter mates become a little bit aggressive with each other, especially as they become sexually mature. As you can see here, Koa and Midas are playing and then things get a little tense as they try to establish dominance over each other. With Midas and Koa specifically, it never gets past anything besides them checking each other or growling at each other, but litter mate syndrome can get pretty nasty. As you can see here, Midas is baring his teeth at him. And this is basically just correction. I'm not really too worried about this because Midas is not trying to go after him. They're not biting each other. They're just basically telling each other to chill out. So I really just wanted to record these videos to kind of show y'all and educate you guys on what litter mate syndrome is. And y'all really should take that into consideration you before stop. buying two puppies from the same you litter with because him. it is common amongst dominant breeds. What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. I hope you all are having a great Sunday so far. I just want to take the time to remind you guys how imperative it is that you train your dogs on bathing etiquette and knowing when to relax and when to go ahead and have fun in the water. By doing so, that will help alleviate uh, soap getting into places that it's not supposed to, as well as saving your pockets from that vet bill. As you can see here, Midas is rushing me to put it back into rinse mode so he can attack the water because he's always on crackhead mode. He loves water. It's in his breed, so <laughs> I can't blame him. But yeah, I hope this is helpful. You guys continue to have a great day. And until next time, be blessed. Giant schnauzers are super smart, and Kala tries to do the tricks before I say them. Good girl. Look, I didn't say... Roll over. Don't try to cheat me. Sit. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Legs. No, legs. <laughs> legs. Because you know how to do it. Down. I didn't say roll over. Lou. I didn't say roll over. Down. <laughs> roll over. Roll over. You can't roll over because you're too close. Come here. Sit. Roll over. Roll over. Good girl. Good roll over.